like loose play that sees the yeah. ball turn over and you take Doku off, you put Grealish, Grealish in. on. Yeah. Do we just see John Stones riding in on a white horse and sitting in the midfield again, and then suddenly all of this, um, all of these problems being sorted? And I think you know, I don't think you're allowed to ride a horse onto the pitch. Yeah, I suppose it would. It would probably help your transition defending to be able to ride a horse. If you're good enough at it, I guess it would give you an advantage from corners, for headers. Mm. People would mostly get out of the way of you as well, but you couldn't call a It'd foul. It'd be quite clumsy though as well. Could you call corners. a foul against a horse? Yeah, maybe. You've got to take all four legs rather than just two for it to be... Would it count as handball if it's the front two legs? No, because that would be the ones it kicks with. Which ones would be the ones it plays football with? The mm, front legs? Yeah. Probably the front legs, yeah. So the handballs if it hits his back legs. Uh, mm. Hoofball. But then that's a different game altogether. It is. Do um, they have hoofs? I feel that, yeah, yeah. Hoof it long. You can do that quite well with a horse, can't you? Yeah. But John Stones, yeah. bring him in and it does solve certain problems, right? Because you can then move Bernardo Silva out wide. You don't necessarily have to rely on, on um, Foden and Alvarez. You can play Stones in the middle and, and then rotate these two. Kevin De Bruyne will be back at some point as well, we, we think. Um, on a horse? It, maybe, maybe. Not white though. I think he would, he'd be more of a chestnut man. You could ride an elephant in like they used to do. Imagine you're in one of those Colosseum things or the Colosseum and you've never seen an elephant before. Or like a, Do they have elephants in the Colosseum? I don't know, but I like to... Th well, I know, I think it was the Romans had elephants, didn't they? I don't know. And then so they, they, they like, stole them from whatever country they'd stolen them from and then they would go to battle and then people would be turning up for a war and they'd see this massive thing they'd never heard of. Like, what on earth is that? Yeah. I guess that'd be a bit like when Man City turn up and Erling Holland's up top. Yeah. And people are like, what is that? But in a globalised world, everyone knows everything about all these players. Because there's lots of tape you can watch them on. Yeah, there are some interesting stories about, you know, people having to draw elephants, having never seen them before. So the Pope would be like, okay, there's these things called elephants and they're like really impressive. All right, we're going to draw an elephant now and that's where we're going to end it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my elephant. Deeply unwelephant, I think. A deeply unwelephant. And here's John's elephant. Here's my elephant. I've drawn a very scientific version of the elephant. With only two legs. Sideways. It exists in two dimensions. I think you could use this in an anatomy textbook for a zoologist. Mm. This is what an elephant. I've made them hench as well. Hench. Look at the stonks on this one. For more expert football analysis, please subscribe to Tifo IRL. <laughs>